friends, so I am going to this meeting this weekend, um, actually with my organization YFU, the organization that I went on exchange with, and um, we have this meeting every year um, where we make huge, huge decisions, and I am going to be a part of that, and when we're done with the meeting, um, which lasts like nine hours, then we're going to have this um, kind of party and I wanted to do a makeup look and I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to do that um, makeup look. And um, it's this coppery, really pretty with a subtle eyeliner, not a dramatic one like last time. And I chose these um, pink lips with it and then I did my go-to curly hair and um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. And if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to start doing is using my MAC Mineralized Charge Water. And this is kind of like the Fix Plus. This just has a bit of shine to it, so it'll look pretty. Like so. And then you just like... <laughs> then I'm going to be using two different primers and um, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Lumi Magique base primer um, and this gives just a really healthy glow to your face and then this one is from L'Oreal and it's the Studio Secrets Professional primer and this is more for um, the fine lines and pores around my nose and stuff so that it looks smooth and really really nice. to spot conceal um, my imperfections with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And what I'm going to do is I am going to use my Beauty Blender, and this is damp, and I am just going to apply the concealer right onto my Beauty Blender. Then I'm just going to focus on where I need um, concealer, which is practically everywhere in my face, but I try to just focus on the spots where I need it so that I don't have too much of a cake face. Because I still want it to be... well, not natural, but... I want it to look like I didn't wear too much face makeup. And I am going to apply some on my forehead, but not too much because as in my previous video, I told you guys that I don't cover up too much because of on my forehead because of my bangs, so. Then I'm going to be using my Gosh Mineral Powder. Um, this is kind of like a mineralized foundation. Then I used my Nils Your um, Kabuki brush. And I just... Ooh, like that. And then I just... First I kind of try to press it onto my face so that it doesn't smear off any of the concealer that I applied. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm just going to brush them. And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Powder in medium brown. And starting to fill in my brows. And I like my brows but I like them to be a tiny bit darker because I'm going to use eyeshadows and then I like to just make my arch a little bit more like so you can see the difference this one doesn't have that much of an arch okay now I'm going to start using a primer and I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion um, and this is for my eyes um, and I am just going to apply. It actually gets kind of liquidy. I often have to shake it. So you might have to shake it with these primers. And then I'm just taking it between my fingers and I am going to apply it to both my eyelids. And now I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt. Right there. Looks like that's really pretty. And I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids. 
and not going above the crease, just my eyelids. And now I'm just going to blend that out with my finger, lightly, and slightly blending it up towards the crease, but not like just the crease, not anything crazy. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my Nielsen um, eyeshadow. This is a Danish brand, by the way, if you're not Danish and you're watching this. And it is in the number 611. And I'm just going to use this as a base color for our crease color. And I'm just using my Sephora Professional Rounded Crease but Bleh brush in number 13 just lightly there's a fly in here that is so annoying I am just going to put this in my crease then I'm going to blend this darker brown also from the same brand um, into my crease and this is in number 635 also from Nien Sua I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush and this is number 841 and it's really good. And I'm just going to make a bit here on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm starting to build it in to the crease. Then I'm going to use the same blending brush and just blend that out. You can be my alphabet and I will be your calculator. Now I'm going in with my Rimmel London eyeshadow. This is in 004 Magnetic Dream. Whoops. And it's just a really pretty highlight color. I'm using my MAC 239 for that. This is just an eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to put this on underneath, <laughs> underneath my eyebrow. So pretty, so pretty. And then I'm going to use it on the inner corner of my eye as well, and just right here. There. And the same thing on this side. Now I'm going in underneath on my lower lash line with the first eyeshadow that we used. Just to darken it up a little bit and make it fit in with the whole look. And I'm also going to go in with just a little bit of the darker one, that one. Then I'm using my blending brush again and just going in and blending because we apply that highlighter and we still want it to look pretty. We're just going in so that it looks really flawless. I almost forgot we need a lid color. We have that jumbo liner onto our lid, but we still need some color. And I'm going to use Chopper right there from the Naked 2 palette. And applying this to my lid and just packing it on. It's actually good that I weighed it with the eyelid color because it's just gonna make it all pop and make it all even more pigmented and great when you apply it in the end. So now I'm going to screw it all up with my eyeliner. No, I am going to try my best um, using my liquid eyeliner but the thing is I need to buy a new one and it's pretty old so but I'm trying to make a, a quite a thin line so that I it's not too dramatic like the previous video that I made it's going to place it
I figured I could do my lips while I wait for the eyeliner to dry so that I can put on my mascara. And I'm just going to wipe off my lip balm. So the lip combo that I'm going to use is, is a lipstick and a lip liner. The first one, um, the lip liner is from Maybelline and it's the Color Sensational in 140 Intense Pink. And I am just going to line my lips. So the sun was really just shining through and it screwed up my video, so I am just going to proceed where I did, and that is with my lips. And I was just lining them. Bounce. 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 I can't believe it every day and every night. Bounce. Now I'm just going to go in with my NYX um, matte lipstick, looks like that, and this is in number Summer Breeze, and looks like that. I think I've used it before. There we go. Now I'm just going to apply my mascara and I'm just using my eyelash curler. This one is from H&M. Then I'm going to use my Max Factor 2000 Calorie Dramatic Volume Mascara. And I really like this one. And I'm just going to apply my mascara. So now I am going to use my um, bronzing powder and this is in this Elizabeth Arden box but actually I um, put this Manhattan clear face powder in and I've told you guys that before and this is just my favorite bronzer ever it just has the perfect color and I'm using that with my real techniques which one sculpting brush and I'm just starting here and just building up my contour Then I'm going in with my MAC well-dressed blush. This is a really pretty color. It's just very pink and cute. And I'm using my Real Techniques uh, brush, the new collection they have in number 300. It's their blush brush and I'm just applying that blush onto the apples of my cheeks like so and I'm just going in with my powder right here to clear up that contour There we go. I am just going to take out my hair and I am going to comb it through and then now I'm going to apply my Schwarzkopf Taft um, heat protectant spray and I'm just going to spray that all over and comb it through again and then I am going to curl my hair and I am kind of going to do it the same way as I did in my tutorial Missy Curls so if you want to watch that um, video go ahead and watch it and you can see here 
I am using the same curling iron and I'll just speed up the process because um, you can watch the video um, so that I don't have to explain it all again so let's just speed this up Okay everyone, so that is the end of this makeup look. I am going to zoom in for you guys just real quick. Um, these are the eyes that we did. And I really like this look personally. I think it's really, really cute. And I hope you guys enjoyed this a lot. And I'm sorry for the changing of my setting and the sun and all that crap but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!